Alright, I've got another distribution that beginners may want to try out. This one's called Moon OS 4, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, I had one of my viewers request that I review this, and um, I feel this is something that can be added to my Linux distributions for beginners. We're looking at Moon OS, and uh, the first thing that really catches your eye is the docky at the bottom of the screen. Now, I'm running this in live mode, so we do not have Compiz effects enabled on this. But uh, as you can see, uh, we've got some quick launches to some programs you'll probably use often. Uh, the Trash, your uh, simple scanner, the Transmission BitTorrent Client, the Terminal, the Shotwell Photo Manager, Evolution Email and Calendar, OpenOffice.org. You get the Brazero Disk Burner, Cheese Webcam Booth, Movie Player, Banshee Media Player, Wibber Social Client, the GIMP Image Editor, Pigeon Instant Messenger, Firefox Web Browser, and then the Docky Configurations uh, Panel. Very nice. Um, this uses GNOME 2. Um, I know a lot of people have been trying to test out different distributions that use GNOME 2 rather than GNOME 3 because they want to keep their compositing effects and that sort of thing. And surprisingly enough, when I go on DistroWatch, I see that there's a number of distributions that are still releasing GNOME 2, which is very interesting. As a matter of fact, I have a little surprise coming up in my next episode where we're going to be looking at another distribution that is that just came out that's using GNOME 2 so very interesting okay well let's see what you get with this first let's look at the top panel and we have the standard complement that you would find on new to, on uh, GNOME 2 you have the power button you have you have a status icon here you have your date a quick launch to the email volume and network at the top Okay, and then of course your standard complement for a uh, system. You can go into preferences or administration. Uh, if we go into about GNOME here, it will tell us uh, that we're running uh, version 2.32. Very nice. My favorite version. And um, But you know, I do hope that uh, GNOME 3 does mature enough to where we can use our Compiz effects and everything. It's nice that I've been able to see that there are extensions for it. And if you are using GNOME 3, check out my video on adding extensions with your web browser. Okay, also then we have uh, uh, the Places menu where you can quickly navigate to a number of uh, common places that you would want to go to. And then in Applications, you get Calculator, Character Map, Disk Usage Analyzer, Docky, Glubus Preview, Manage Print Jobs, Search for Files, Synapse, Take a Screenshot, Terminal, Text Editor, Tomboy Notes. In Games, you get Isle Rose, Solitaire, G Brainy, Mahjong, Mines, Quadribacel, and Sudoku. You know, I love this Mines game. A lot of people don't seem to care for it, but um, I actually think this is kind of fun, but it's best played in. Um, go into preferences here and select medium and then close then we can have some fun with this I like the colors too Basically a fun little game, you've got to just, uh, 
you'll see a number one and in the square surrounding the one you know that one of them is a bomb so now in the uh, with the two here you'll see the square surrounding the two I've already selected that we have two bombs so I can just click this we know there's two nice little process of elimination game excellent if you're uh, waiting for a file to download or something like that and you're bored it's a great little quick game to play neat huh okay let me close this and get back to the review sorry for the digression there I just couldn't resist okay in um, graphics you get the GIMP open office drawing shot well photo manager and simple scan and then in internet you get the evolution mail firefox web browser Gwibber, social client pigeon internet messenger remote desktop viewer terminal server client transmission BitTorrent client in office of course you get openoffice.org evolution and dictionary in sound and video you get the banshee media player brazero disc burner cheese webcam booth movie player sound recorder and then of course you get the ubuntu software center this is based on ubuntu and um, let me see which version it is based on. I'm pretty sure it's based on um, Natty. It's not based on the latest one. We'll find out in a moment here when we uh, go into the sources. It'll just take a moment to respond, obviously, because I'm using. Ah, here it is, software sources. I'm obviously I'm using a virtual machine. I have a bunch of resources running, that sort of thing. As you can see on my uh, computer, I've got 100% CPU burning. So obviously, you know, um, things are going to run a little bit slowly. We'll look at other software here. Okay, this is actually based on Maverick Meerkat. Okay, interesting. And maybe we'll be seeing a new release coming in the near future. All right, let me go ahead and close this out. That's what I wanted to find out anyway. But still, a competent distribution that um, that many of you may like. Let me see what kind of backgrounds this comes with and some themes. And of course, it's taking a moment to load. All right, while we're waiting on the backgrounds to load, why don't we try themes and see what we get? Okay, looks like we've got a number of nice themes in here. And interestingly enough, this download wasn't that large. Okay, so we get a few good themes to work with. Nice. And I've used all of these themes myself. Okay, and then in backgrounds, it looks like we have a nice little complement of backgrounds. But the green, this green background, I like this a lot. I, I think I would stick with this. All right, so if you're looking for a good distribution for beginners, definitely check out Moon OS. I'll have the link in the show notes. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, also, uh, visit my blog, Shout Me a Coffee. Um, I've got more good stuff heading your way, some more reviews, and I still have the Christmas special coming up. I'm really not feeling that good, though, so I don't know how soon I'm going to get to it. But I do have my ridiculous Santa hat, and uh, so I'm trying to get in the Christmas spirit. It just said I don't feel very Christmassy today, you know? Oh, well, it is what it is. See you later. Mm -hmm.